Okay. <laughs> okay, I think we're in at 6.02 p.m. Maggie, I think we're on the spiritual events yeah. directory. So if we are, <laughs> here we are. <laughs> I'm going to check in a minute. I'm never, ever quite sure. Um, uh, the Woo Woo Show like. presented by our wellness community. And tonight we're coming in, I'm coming in as um, our beautiful soul seekers and bring into the yeah. space our beautiful uh, Maggie Ioannidis. And Maggie, yeah. you've been on here many times in all sorts uh -huh. of different capacities. But tonight, soul seekers, baby. Soul seekers. Yay. Hi, everybody. Happy Valentine's Happy Day Valentine's to all those Day. beautiful lovers out there. Yay. Hey. And, uh, and of course, Maggie, Maggie is, uh, uh, you know, Maggie has so many tools in her kit. Uh, I'm going to start off with, uh, I wonder what was your first, what was your first Reiki master? Is that the first thing that uh, I started? Oh, no, well, I started doing reading. I started doing readings first. Oh, that was the doing first readings thing first. I did. Ah, right. Then uh, Reiki, kinesiology, forensic healing, um, just to name a few. There's a whole yeah, bunch liquid, of other things. Yeah in between yeah, liquid that. crystals and, yeah 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 and then yeah, you've got to access yeah. the bar you've got the bars healing and then you've got the access uh, mm. consciousness tools and uh, and then of course maggie is yeah. the founder of spirit tests and um and yeah we've been involved uh we 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 got to know each other as uh as friends i would say initially we met at uh, the goddess ah uh, yeah Anne Marie, the goddess uh, shed uh, you heard yeah. me talk, and then, uh, then we, yeah, we were friends, and then we became colleagues, and uh, and now we we ran the um, Sacred Goddess Retreat. Margie then went on to run many, many other amazing retreats, and um, and now we've come together yeah. with Soul Seekers. But you've been in the wellness community. I'm in Spirit Test. We're in. Oh, we're every, everything. We're in a twine. We we're in a twine. Yeah, and I think. What was it? Oh, yes, Walk we did. Like an yeah. <laughs> we did, and we, we we did. I remember that, and we did. I did a numerology workshop. Remember, we were the naughty mm. people in it. We did the new. So I, I, I've done numerology, but don't ask me. Yes, and of course, I've been to you for <laughs> healing. You've had some readings, so so we we, we teach yeah. each other. We we learn from each other. We heal each other. We yeah. Uh, you're my uh, together. We swear a lot. We laugh, <laughs> laugh a lot. And, yeah. Uh, we fly by the seat of we our laugh pants. A lot, yeah. <laughs> we do. And that's what we're here for tonight. We do. We laugh. Uh, we do laugh out loud. We have we uh, cracks me, cracks me right up. Well, you're the, uh, and this is why we started Soul Seekers, because I feel that um, I do feel like a big sister. I feel like you and I are very, we're, we're almost the same in just that real raw, uh, you know, what, what you fucking see is what you get. Are we allowed to swear on here? I think yeah. so. I'm not sure. Yeah. Facebook I don't think it's radio this time. <laughs> radio, it's radio. I remember radio. You know, we, we, yeah, yeah we, we, we don't. Uh, we have worked hard to take off our masks, and I don't think that we actually ever. I don't think we were really ever that masked up in the beginning, anyway. You and I. I think. I think you've always been pretty much, uh, you know, a, a, an open arms kind of um, chick with the world, like me. You know. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I, I get my, I, I, now I developed into interesting point of view. I have that point of view where I, I before I was, before I was like, oh, oh maybe I shouldn't have, oh. And <laughs> yes, I, I've I, gotten better uh, at that too. <laughs> you know, it, yeah. it is, and sometimes it still comes out. So I suppose yeah. you pick your poison. Um, it's sometimes you can, you know, I, I do. I, I've I've always been straight up. I had a lot of stuff. That's what I mean. Up. Yeah, exactly. You and you I have know, always yeah. been more straight up. You know, we yeah. have taken off many yeah. many masks uh, since we've been on the journey. But but we were always pretty much what you see is what you get. I reckon with you, and you've got some interesting bloody stories. So I have. Yeah. I, have got <laughs> I don't know if it's for this time of night, but I do no. have some great we stories. We might have to. Uh, That'll be yeah. a late night Soul show, Seekers. that one. Yeah, Soul Seekers members I could probably share it with, but, you know, yes. some of the, sto some yeah, of the so, stories. Yeah, so Margaret, yeah. tell us a bit about Soul Seekers because, ladies and gents, we want you to come in that join this very private, sacred space. What yeah. do you uh, reckon about Soul Seekers? Soul Seekers, well, for me, it's a place where we can have more intimacy and we can actually assist yeah. people. Um, yeah. That's what I like. Uh, running big retreats and running everything that I've even cut it down to, like, you know, smaller sort of went, I'd yeah. like to do more 
one-on-ones together. So for me, and it's all about really looking within because we're so external that yes. we avoid internal. Yeah. So, uh, you know, and, and that's something that I, is big on me is that I can also a- avoid the internal. I'd rather be um, sometimes external and not really feed that, that soul stuff and really look at things for what they really are. We all do it. Yeah. And I and I think it's also to help evolve, learn new tools as well, try new things. Um, we do have our Soul Seekers group and then we have our membership group as well. The Soul Seeker group that you can come in, Michelle and I come in every Wednesday morning um, for about 9.30. We come in for about half an hour or so and, and, and have a yeah. topic, have a chat, pull out some cards and that. Uh, and it's always recorded and that's in our Soul Seekers. And in our membership, we do... Constantly, every week we are doing podcasts. We have a particular thing we run with. We do yeah. our tools, our hub in the chair. Uh, you know, we, we get them. You're always on a Zoom. You're always included. Uh, yeah. You know, and we have a lot of interaction in there as well, which I totally love. So I absolutely love Soul Seekers. I really uh, know that it's it's going in different areas. And, you know, and it's not so much just about the, the readings or us telling you. It's about... All of us, we learn from it as well from the we other do, absolutely. as well. So, you know, that's what I like about it. Yeah. And what about you, Shell? What <gasps> drove you to go, yeah, Maggie, let's do it? Oh, look, that uh, everything you just said, you know, and, um, and that what I wanted was you and I express our spirituality uh, in so many different ways and we bring all of our tools into, we help our clients uh, with our tools in all sorts of different ways, but what I really wanted was that uh, I didn't have that dedicated space, as you just said, that dedicated, private, uh, intimate, intimate space where we could actually talk about the big topics like love. Yeah. Like love. And sex. You and I were saying about sex. Um, sex. But yeah. love, you know, love is just, and it's great. Yeah. We didn't even know that this was going to be Valentine's Day when we made the booking. I didn't even click until no, today. No, I didn't think. No. Yeah, no. right. And, but I and have a course, point of view on, on, the, yeah. on love word anyway. I yeah. have a point of view and, on that, you know. Yeah. yeah. And, and you and I sort of, and, and that's it. It's all about love. I mean, we have all different ways, uh, you know, it's love for, for, for self, for partner, for child, for uh, family, mothers, fathers, business. It's our yeah. love for our, our tools, our work, our business that, um, brings us into all of these uh, different things that uh, different ways that we express our work and different things that we do. So, yeah, you know, um, that's what I wanted. A, a beautiful, intimate space where we were unafraid to get back to the yeah. spiritual, to the soul, to really uh, what is driving uh, us. We want to be happy. We say we want to be happy. And yet we, uh, you know, we, we, we can sometimes do all sorts of bullshit. Uh, that that yeah. gets in uh, get, that we get in our own way, and that gets in uh, the way. So, ladies, yeah. what we'd like to do for you tonight, uh, Maggie and I would love to pull a card, love to uh, put some numbers around some words, and see what comes up. So, it yeah. is all about love. Uh, we are in the right space there, Maggie. So, thank you to everybody joining in. There's a whole bunch of uh, beautiful uh, uh, ladies um, and and hopefully gents as well joining in there. Uh, but it is Valentine's Day, so let's make it about love instead of uh, there's some other questions being asked there, but uh, we're going to make it all about love. And um, so just uh, pop a word or a question. Margaret can draw a card. I can, uh, I can do some numbers readings as we, uh, as we talk along and go along. But what do you think, Margie? So uh, you said, oh, I've got a judgment on love. Uh, what would be the first thing yeah. that comes to well, your a... mind about yeah. love? I have a point of view on love. Well, I think it's a judgment. I just know it's a judgment. One minute I could love myself, the next minute I'm criticizing myself. Um, the one minute, you know, you're, you're in a relationship and you love it. And then the next minute you're like, what the fuck is going know. on? You know, which you I know go, is part of life. I so yes. I, I'm not saying, but what if we could be in gratitude for everything and in allowance of everything? I, 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 I work on more of that way because... Yes. Uh, the love word can hurt, <laughs> so yeah, it brings up exactly it bring up a lot of stuff, you know. Yes, and you've just reminded me, beautiful. You just reminded me of uh, I loved it when you came up with uh, because I had been wondering about it for some time before you came up with um, um, 
that tool. So instead of love, because to me, love, I don't really know what love is. And to me, love, uh, there's a lot of things done in the name of love that aren't really loving at all. But you came up, remember, with uh, those, those was it four or five things about uh, love? Five that keys love of intimacy. Five well, keys I didn't of come intimacy. up with them. Yeah, I, they were access consciousness. I did a foundation workshop. Tell us a little days. bit about that. Uh, and, the, you know, one of the things is, is to about, is about, you know, it's about being in gratitude. Yes. And one of them, you know, being grateful for actually absolutely everything. So it's about being in your being, which is in your body, and being in allowance to receive, perceive, and know and be everything that comes your way without reaction or feeling rejected. Though we're not being brought up that way. We've been brought up with rejections and reactions of how we've been shown, taught, whatever our story is. And that's what to discard the story. For me, it's like I would like something a little bit easier. Because being in relationships, we do have a perception of how it has to look one way and not think about the other way. Of standards. What, we don't yes. have a conversation around it. We no. just sort of get into a relationship and learn and we're treading and all those feelings are really good and there's lots yeah. of fun in the sheets and then all of a sudden you're moved in and what happens is that, you know, there's a commitment and then everything changes and sometimes it'd be like can I go and do this can I spend this what could it look like for me it's like that you have your your life I have my life and we meet in the middle and have some fun and just talk about things with lightness instead of so much heaviness Mm -hmm. that is just something I'm sort of getting used to in my life right now you know it's not something that you just go oh yeah I can do that in a relationship we feel we have well, for me, I should say, I felt I used to have ownership. Well, you're mine, you're nobody else's, and yeah. this is how it goes. So yeah. I guess I've, I've opened up limitless possibilities of seeing things differently. Uh, yeah. and, and that's something that I'm learning. And it's not like I'm bleeding it onto, you know, partners or anything like that. So for me, it's like I always put a question in people's uh, awareness because we're borrowed to each other. We don't own anyone. Um, and, and that's the thing. It's like, you know, the gratitude thing. What if we could be gratitude in that? And also honouring ourselves. You know, we sort of mm. get into relationships and we really, the, I know I used to, and from what I've worked with clients, it's like we give ourselves up for our partners, for our children, you know, and then all of a sudden mm. the kids are grown yeah. up, the partners, we, you know, do you know what I'm yeah. saying? So, yeah. Yeah, so, yeah. So you had within uh, so you had within those five tools of intimacy, you had uh, things like gratitude in there. Uh, was appreciation in there? Respect. Allowance. Oh, allowance. 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 Yeah, yeah, and I like. I, yeah, yeah, I like all of that. Uh, and of course, you also run uh, run workshops. Uh, you know, at different stages throughout the year on on all of these uh, on all of this, Margie. Um, yeah. And and I think um, and I think when you focused on and and that was the thing for me that I thought well love you know in the name of love lots of lots of things can um, be done in the name of love that aren't loving at all but if you actually were yeah if you were focused uh, in love on commitment respect uh, you know allowing valuing um, being grateful for then you're actually in a different energy different mindset different body your body is then going to be, you know, in, in a different uh, a being as well. It changes everything. So let's have a it look at... It does change everything. Yeah, it really changes everything, doesn't yeah. it? But uh, anyway, that's a really big topic, but we'd like to uh, just sort of mm. skirt around the, uh, the the outside of that yeah. uh, in the session, <laughs> yeah. ladies. So we've got... Yeah. Uh, but if you want to know more, come to uh, Soul Seekers. Maybe we talk a little bit more... On, we'll talk about on, our Wednesday. On Wednesday in yeah. our... Um, yeah. So we've got... Yeah. Okay, okay, Lisa McFadden, I would love to know if you can see me finding my life partner soon. Please and thank you. We've got Kylie N- Nalon with uh, conflict about love. So I'm up with some numbers around conflict and 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 Lisa let's pull a card for Lisa and let's see what uh, you come up with uh, there so, what one was Lisa what did she say her so life Lisa partner? said she would love so her word's going to be love I would love to know if you can see me finding my life partner soon please okay. and thank you hello to Melissa and Trieza and uh, hi Julie. everybody hello yep Okay, uh, okay. So, let's start doing some readings. Woo-hoo. Okay, so Lisa, your cards come up as endless possibilities. So everything is, is endless. So 
what what I'm I'm getting though, this energy that I'm sensing here is that you're just your uncertainty because of past stuff that's gone on and occurred. So you've learnt from it, you know that you've grown from it, though the lifetime partner is also it's not that it's like it's far away. There's been lots of opportunities. So I, I don't think you've been actually really ready for them as yet. Though the next probably coming, I would see a six around it. So I don't know if that's six months or six weeks. I just see a six. Um, it could be the sixth day. It could be a time. I cannot really dictate all that. Though there is an opportunity for you to actually spread your wings a little bit and step out of the box and and being and being and showing who you are and and knowing that remi reminding yourself that who you are as as a female as a woman that and what you truly desire so i don't know if um i've suggested this a couple of times to some people with relationships it's like if you have a you have a box it's like a a, a box for yourself a gratitude box or a love box a yeah. possibility box and and pop in all your great qualities about yourself what you value about yourself um you know what kind of relationship would you like for you with you and your partner because your lifelong yes. partner um is always there's always presented different people in front of you sometimes we're just not ready or we don't see it or we have a you have an expectation of what it has to look like so you know if you could just put that aside and know that there is something definitely coming up for you. So they're really saying, what is it that you value about yourself? What possibility box, what could someone mm. see in you, not you just seeing them, if that makes sense. Absolutely. So I see a six around it, yeah. I love that. I love how you call it uh, a love box. I know that uh, before I manifested, uh, you know, my guy, um, as you well know, Margie, before, uh, before he came along, I actually sat with that and really thought through uh, what I could contribute, what I could bring yeah. to the relationship and, uh, and, and, and also what I was looking for. And uh, honestly, yeah. the more clear you can be about that, hey, Margie, the more likely it is that the universe knows uh, what to bring to you. Yeah, yeah. It's just the, the chopping and changing, you know, um, and that's because mm. of stuff that's happened in the past. We all bring that to our future. We do. It just happens. Just be aware of that. And yeah. what, what about if that lifelong partner is looking for you, you know? Um, yeah, absolutely. And, and yeah, it's just about stepping out a bit more and just, mm. you know, you've got the confidence to do it. And, you know, I get this energy of being a really, really great person and doing so much for others. So do yourself a love box. And what is it that you could actualize yourself for your partner to come forward for you, you know, with you and then uh, mm. have that great commitment for each other. All right. Now I'm trying to navigate all these co uh, comments uh, here. I don't know. Help, it, it, Are you right? Yeah. Have, have a look there. It's very, it's annoying because it's all different. You know, uh, what I'm seeing on the, what I see on the phone, I don't see uh, on the, on the laptop. Um, it's very annoying. So now who had the, um, the comment about, I can't see the comment about conflict. I was going to put some words around that. So hello to beautiful Kerry, Kerry Addison, Melissa Bell. We're going to pull a card for you, Melissa. Yeah, Melissa, mine's, Melissa's yeah. mine's not coming um, up with anything. Oh, there's a troll on that Kerry said. I, Gabby, oh. thank you for being here. Helen, Gabby, I'll put you down for uh, some guidance as well. Gabby M. Uh, so that was for Lisa McFadden. Hello to Helen. Julie, I'm having internal conflicts regards to relationship, but I want to act out of anger. How do I seek my truth? Hello to Johnny, Richo, Julia. Oh, hi, I've got Julia down. Uh, Julia said, I went through a grieving period as my kids turned into teens. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, I get it. Yeah, yeah. big change there. Hi to uh, Trias. They're <laughs> coming from Canada. Now, uh, conflict. Oh, that was uh, right, Carly. So Carly, I put some words around uh, conflict. So we've got Melissa. I've got Julia. I've got Amanda. I've got Gabby. Um, and I will. Um, so Julie. No. So Kylie. So Carly, I put some numbers to uh, to conflict, and uh, that added up to thirty-seven. Three plus seven equals ten. One plus zero equals one. 
So, uh, you know, so, so when I focus on, if, if I'm focusing on number three and seven, then I'm looking at, uh, you know, uh, in terms of love, in terms of love, where are you sitting um, on the optimism scale? You know, number three is all about, uh, are you two rose colored glasses with, um, you know, who you are looking for and uh, and the kind of guys that uh, you attract uh, are your expectations. Maggie talked before about our expectations in uh, <clears throat> relationships. Are your expectations, uh, you know, well, do you, you know, do you have them? What are they? Are they realistic? Are they uh, helping you or holding you back there with that number three? Or uh, are you on the other side of the uh, other side of that where, you know, uh, although you've, um, we did say that you're in conflict about love. So, you know, I want it, I don't want it. Uh, you know, the Queen of Swords in tarot, she uh, beckons with one hand and she, you know, pushes away with the other. So, uh, you know, I'd be looking at optimism there and and uh, what do you, you know, you really have to delve into uh, where does your self-love <clears throat> barometer sit and how do you really feel about it before, and you need to heal and let go of, of all of that before, you know, you can attract uh uh, you know, where you're really meant to be in terms of love. Number seven is all about trust. So I'd be, I'd be looking at, uh, you know, um, where, where's your level of trust in, in, in romantic relationships? How much of, how much is there a heart wall? How much of your heart, you know, do you really put into this? Again, we, we you know, for anybody else listening, uh, let us know if you resonate with this, that we all say we want uh, love, but then we've all been burnt, we've all been hurt, we've all been betrayed, we've all had that downturn and disappointment, and therefore, and Margie, you would, you could talk to this more, we want love, but we want it on our terms, and, and you know, we want to control it, we want to manage it, we don't want it to hurt us, and when we shut the door to all of that, we shut the door to all of it. So the new beginnings, but you know, if we have a look at optimism and trust in 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 romance, then it can really lead to uh, a new beginning there, Carly. Um, yeah. Mm. So I, I thought, I thought so. we always say that yeah, we want thought... something, but we don't want the bad side of that thing. And when we don't want the bad side of that that thing, the good thing can't come through either. Yeah. And usually, when we ask a question, you know, we already know the answer that's within. I suppose we want some confirmation, which is fair enough. But if Kylie, you're unhappy. Yes. With you know, with the situation, and you know. Kylie said, "Yeah, it's uh, it's uh, I'm in a relationship, but feel like I should leave." Well, then that's what you're knowing. A feeling for me that comes from your gut. It's a knowing, you know. It's something, but that's the unknown as well. It's like, what happens if? Have I made the right choice? But your body never lies to you. It's your mind that wants to work yeah. it out. Yeah. Yeah, you know. Um, so, yes, exactly. But but you know, again, love is such a big topic. I would have to I would have to say to that that there's plenty of times I've wanted to leave. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? There's 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 so much there's so well, much that goes into it, isn't there? Well, you there know? is, and I mean, when you're in a, on on a platform like this, you know, it's difficult to go into all the details. Exactly, as well. exactly. But so, I like exactly as you yeah. said though, and Margie, the seven in. Uh, the numbers there, three and seven. So three is very much about uh, pros and cons and perspective, yeah. as you just said. And, and seven is, is very much about trust your instincts. So that yeah. ties in with what you're saying, which is, you know what, listen to your body and, and that yeah. inner knowing. Yeah, doesn't lie. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, we can't sort of, you know, it's not even about yes. you asking us that. I know that. So it's like when we ask a question, we already know, and that's a confirmation. Yeah. And it is. It's about trusting, like you said. So that's yeah. really important. It's just trust that knowing because it's yeah. it's like that first gut instinct. How many times have we all ignored it? I know I have. And then definitely, gone bugger. Definitely. You know? Yeah, so, absolutely. Yeah. So, Maggie, maybe you can pull uh, beautiful Melissa Bell. Pull a card for uh, Melissa. Let's yeah. see if she's got a question here. Melly. Mel. Let's see. Uh, Lisa said, uh, thank you, ladies. You're welcome, Lisa. I really hate how all the comments are all over the place. I just can't keep uh, yeah, a beautiful sort of running tally on it. Like I can't even see mine going up. So it's like, is there anyone on? It's weird. Yeah, it definitely is. But uh... okay, Mal. Okay, so yeah, I pulled out two cards for you, Mal, because I just felt that sense of doing so. So. Um, Walking the line. So there's this big mama bear 
stuff coming up here. So whether it's stuff from the past or something that you're you're looking ahead or you're unsure for answers or unsure where it's going to go, I'm just getting you've got the courage to move forward and go through with whatever is going on in your awareness and in your body. Uh, it's something that, you know, if it's to do with relationships, friendship, family, that kind of thing, um, it's it's really, it's like you know what you've got to do and it's time to do it. It's like it's got the other one's the land in between. So that land, that to me is like you're in between. You're like, what road do I go down? Do I go straight ahead, left, right? It doesn't matter what road you go down because whatever you do is that you're going to get onto that journey and you can always change. That's the beauty of freedom yeah. and, and the beauty of that's not working. I can do it this way because there's, I feel like there's just huge changes coming up for you. And it's something that maybe there's been avoidance or not the right timing or created the right space. So it's full steam ahead. It's like that, that, that walking, you know, that the walk in the line, I mean, it's pretty magnificent. So it's like, you know, it's like mm. going forward and always remember everything's the opposite of what it appears to be and nothing's the opposite of what it appears to be. A lot of the times our uh, ego, our mind will want to know how it's all going to work out, but there is lots of changes, um, you know, around the home, and also, you know, in your personal life as well. And that could also mean many other things. But they're saying walk forward, stop mm. staying in the in-betweens, pick a road because it doesn't matter. It will mm. still lead you where it's got to lead you to. I love it. And, you know, I do have these cards that my friend uh, Michaela bought me for my birthday. What are they? They are Gaia's Angels or something. How do you say that, Margie? Yeah, Gaia's angels. Gaia's that. Yeah, Gaia's angels. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, for Mal, well, what I might do is, like, Maggie, after you've pulled a card, maybe I'll just, uh, I'll just pull one of these beautiful uh, little heart cards. Yes. Yeah. And then, uh, yeah. And, and what it does is, uh, Mal, it just gives you a lovely little uh, mantra. So let's see what you got. Oh, okay. Oh, I love it, Maggie. Look at that. It's. Uh, I am happy, joyful, and grateful for all that comes my way. I love being alive. Awesome. So there you go. I mean, first direction to me, to me, the first step in the direction of uh, love and happily ever after builds from the inside out. And I love affirmations. I love, uh, uh, you know, there's lots of research about, uh, uh, around the uh, power of thought and self-talk, good, bad, yeah. otherwise. So that's a really easy way to uh, put yourself in the energy of love. I love being alive, Mel. I love being alive. <laughs> Let's pull a card yeah. for Julie, Julia, Julia Heckenberg. Now, Julia was, um, and then I'll just follow you up, Margie, because I'm um, just having a hard time navigating all this today. Okay, we've got 20 uh, beautiful women uh, watching us live. So thank you from uh, Mel. Mel said beautiful. Thank you. Um, oh, Gabby. I actually might. Uh, oh, oh, Gabby said don't worry. She has to get off. Don't, don't worry about a card for her. Um, okay. okay, so we've got uh, Julia. Now, Julia, Julia, I can't see your comments there, Dale. So we're just going to uh, pull a card and uh, take it from there because I've got different comments on my phone to uh, the laptop and, uh, you know, it's hard to keep my groove when I have to keep going backwards and forwards. Yeah, I know, right? Do you know what I mean? So, well, it, look, it's not easy to navigate. Theory. Yeah, it's not easy to navigate when you're, um, again, going on a Zoom and then trying to follow yeah. all the comments and then if your phone's yeah. not working properly. So, okay, Julia, 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 Julia. Okay, let me have a look. Yeah. <laughs> all right, Smoke so. and Mirrors has come up for you. Okay, so... For me, it's, they're saying something about a higher view. Make sure that you just don't, it's like, it feels like the same thing has been repeating over and over and over again. And it feels like you've been a bit stuck. Now, whether this is um, occurring or has occurred and you're, you're, it, there's just residue of it, there's something that it has to, something has to change here. Um, it's like the smoke and mirrors is like, it's just the same shit, it's just a different day. So, there, when, with that, I pulled out another one. It's saying that if you can get past the same stuff and people around you that are bringing you maybe a bit down, I'm saying people could be more one, one or two. Mm. Um, it's it's something that's just it's got to it's got to stop. And it's about you and your health as well. Uh, I'm not sure how you're sleeping at night. I'm not sure if you are sleeping well or sleeping too much. 
that the sound of it, by the mm. sounds of it, there's just so much that's been going on and there's, there's a lot going on in the head. So, um, but there's also some, some changes around the home and there's some changes around where you are. Um, it feels like you want to flee, like you want to just pack up and move. Um, ahead of time here, that there is something, it's called a grand symphony. So as you make positive steps more for yourself, and you're choosing you more, then you'll find that things will start to work out and pan out the way that you choose them. But just stop changing your mind is what I'm getting and oh, stop living wonderful. in the same old stuff of everybody else's. Wonderful. And Margie didn't know Makes this. Sense. I just found Julia's comment now. Margie didn't oh, know okay. this, Julia, that uh, you're having internal conflicts regarding oh. uh, your relationship. I don't want to act out of anger, she says. How do I seek my truth? Wow. Awesome reading that Margie okay. just gave you there, uh, Julia. Yeah. And Julia, here's uh, your mantra, okay, for the week. And then we're going to pull a card for, let's pull a card for beautiful like Kerry Addison in a minute. But uh, here's your mantra, Julia. Oh, I think I'll go with this one here. Oh, I am gentle on myself. Yeah. I nurture my body with good food and thoughts. I am gentleness. Okay, so I am yeah. gentleness. We tend to go through something, Margie, don't we? We tend to go through something. I know for me that uh, you go through these difficult times where the difficult times are happening around you. But then what you tend to do is internalise yeah. that and in your head you start uh, sort of saying things like, oh, this really bloody shits me, you know, why me? It's not fair. What the hell? Um, we do all of that kind of stuff. And, of course, it's relative to what we're going through, but it's actually not good on how we feel or how we feel affects how we think, how we think affects neural pathways, you... affects the hormones, yeah. affects the body, and we end up yeah. in these, uh, you know, um, thought loops and uh, we end up in these uh, uh, obsessive, uh, com uh, you know, uh, obsessive-compulsive uh, Thoughts that really aren't self-loving. They really no. aren't. No. And we all do it. Ourselves. We all we do it. We all do it. Um, and, do. You know, and, but the key and is, it's, it's, and exactly, Margie, we all do it, but but the key is to, <laughs> to get out as quickly as we can. We ha we're going to go in it? Yeah. Yeah. But I get out I mean, quicker like now. Just, do you get yeah. out quicker? Yeah. God, oh, goodness, yes, I do. I don't really give it much thought like yeah. I used to. I, I must say though, there's a lot of things that, and is this for Kerry? Is this what we're we're doing? This is Kerry for Kerry. Now? Let's that, do one yeah. for Kerry. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Because um, the thing is, it's like um, for Kerry came up the uncharted the uncharted sea, so it's uncharted waters. So you know you're safe, yeah. and you stay in your in your safe bubble, and then yeah. you're like, oh, I want to. It's like Kerry. There's something that you can do different. And that, you know, whether it's work, whether it's personal life, I mean, you know your life more than I do. I'm not here to predict everything there. But though yeah. the thing is, is the uncharted sea is telling me is that step out. It is safe. Even though it's unknown, you yeah. are going to actually really enjoy doing something different and being something different for yourself because after that is the power of purpose. I pulled out two, two cards I'm pulling out so it can give me a bit of a story. So when you're sort of securing something, yeah. We want to stay there and we want to keep doing the same thing because it's so secure. So, Kerry, I just find sometimes that, that I'm sensing is that, you, you know, you're so secure, but though you get bored, though you don't want to change that routine because it is security, you can still be secure even if you step out of that boundary because you'd be surprised what it will give you. That uncharted sea is like, it's not going to be bumpy. It's just going to be some roads yeah. that you're not sure of what's going to happen, but it'll be the opposite of what you think it's going to be. And that power of purpose is it's time to step up and do you and be you. Whether it's a change of job, change of routine, change of relationship, telling kids or friends that's enough, that's the power of purpose is to step up and be more of that um, for, for yourself also. And, and again, I feel like it's to do with career. There's some kind of change happening there. Um, wow. Whether you've not worked for a while or you have been in a job, there is a bit of a twist, a bit of a shake up, but it's a good one. It's not... It's not going to be a horrible one. I love it. So let's see what uh, what the angels say. Or is it uh, Gaia? Who is Gaia? Messenger of light. Oh, Gaia is Gaia. an angel. Yeah, well, I call Mother Earth Gaia. Oh, okay. Right, let's see what we've got for Kerry. Uh, now, I've also got on the list, I've got Sunny. Sunny, I've got uh, Amanda Stevens. Uh, Gabby has gone. I've got Nikki Taylor. I think Nikki's from Cape Town. Of course, I was born in South Africa, so... I'm, uh, you know, ah. I can really resonate with uh, with that. 
Polly Molly. Um, and let's see what uh, Carrie's got here. Oh, Divine Flow. I love it. Yeah, there I play you go. with the rhythms just, of, of yeah. the elements, uh, earth and I, yeah. uh, a fluid energy, I am rhythm. So, Kerry, take that into uh, your week. Earth and I are a fluid energy, I am rhythm. And, you know, K, the K in Kerry, anybody out there with uh, the K in their name, honestly, you have uh, a natural, uh, you have natural intuition you resonate to a higher vibration than, you know, someone with uh, a different initial. So honestly, get in touch with your instincts and uh, learn how to and, and, and uh, trust that inner voice. Yeah. So how about, uh, let's pull one for, okay, we'll go with Nikki Taylor. So with Nikki's who, sorry? Nikki, Nikki Taylor. Nikki. Okay. And I'm pretty sure that, uh, let me see if I can refresh. Nikki was from Cape Town. Cancel. Oh, my God. Okay. We had a few people in there before from what someone from UK, someone from Norway. Exactly. We had Canada, before. Cape Town. Oh, and you saw Norway, yeah. did you? Oh, look at that. Yeah. That's beautiful, Kerry. We got some fabulous feedback from uh, from Julia as well. It was oh. spot on. Mel said oh, thank it was you. spot on. Um, thank we've got you. about 15 watching live at the moment. Kerry said, thank you. Going to do a spiritual course. Have already done one. Yes, had changes in work. Well okay, done. Excellent. Okay, so I've got, okay. uh, I'll put Tanya Dixon on the uh, list and thank you to um, Samantha and uh, beautiful Karina would also like a card if we've got time. Oh, and uh, Karina. Connie. Hello. Yay. And Connie. And I'll put hey. down Tanya Dixon. All right, so this is for Nikki, yeah? Yeah, this is for Nikki. Okay, so Nikki, your bo the body and soul came up here. So the body and soul um i ended, i pulled out two and a third one came out as well so i just i'm going to just tell the story here so your body and soul so are you paying attention to the whispers of your body and that doesn't mean there's a, a big unhealthy thing happening though it's really important to start taking care of you what what are you feeding your soul are you feeling are you feeling your joy are you actually noticing you know what's holding you back is there opportunity for change here? Because what the next card is the divine matrix. So the divine matrix is about, you know, everything happening in that divine time. So we don't want to jump, jump we don't want to not jump into the matrix because the matrix can give you so many different opportunities, so many different changes in your life. Um, you know, there's something that you're not willing to look at or maybe ignoring or avoiding, I should say, maybe not ignoring, so avoiding. <laughs> So it's about speaking up. My throat is really being restricted. And there's also some kind of energy here, which I don't know if there's a past five one, I feel like it's a female figure that's very much supporting you on the other side. It could be a guide, it could be a past five one, but very much supporting you and giving you the energy to move forward and move through. Also, it's about that uncharted sea has come up again too. So it's like you're really safe in what you, where you are. And I can understand with what's going on externally out in the world. So what changes can you make internally to be able to step out, even if you can't step outside of your door right now? So it's really about yeah. checking in with your body, taking care of your body. It's about making sure that these opportunities, it's like a vortex. If you can imagine a beautiful window and you're going in it, it doesn't mean you go round and round, but there's different roads and different maps. The matrix is made of a different, different avenues. That mm. is very magical. Um, it's just you're unsure. You want to know how it's going to look like and how it's going to turn out. So yeah. the moment you step out, it's not going to matter to you. It'll build up your confidence and your self-esteem mm. and you'll actually find you'll have more choice than when you're just sitting a bit stagnant. hope that makes sense. That's love it. it. Love it. And it was, uh, Nikki was, <coughs> uh, yep, from mm. Cape Town there. So, Nikki, let me pull a, a lovely... Um, mantra card for you and then we will pull a card for we'll pull a card for amanda Stephen. she's in the uk hello and for, uh, and for nikki here's your mantra darling i want you to take this uh, into uh into your week one two one two three and nikki you know the n in uh in nikki uh the n in numerology is number five the number five maggie is uh is freedom is possibilities is the entrepreneur yeah. the number five is uh you know what uh wherever I, I lay my hat is home so uh the big key with that as maggie said is to is to trust so nikki uh, like a newborn babe, a new journey is upon you, mm. a refreshing start of hope, and your mantra is, I am a gift of life. Woo yeah, exactly. 
Keep and that's what everyone's got to remember too, yeah, that we are a yes. gift. And no matter what's going on externally, just worry about your internally and not feed the outside and, and feed your inner soul, feed yourself, you know, the nourishment that you require. I, I, I that's it. something that I've learned throughout COVID. Yeah. I come first. And also with, yeah. you know, it, it really is important. Okay, so who are we doing? So this is Amanda. So Amanda, here comes your card. I've already, I've also got, uh, I've got Karina on the list. Polly Molly, I've got Connie, I've got Yvonne from Norway, we're going to get to you, uh, Sunny, Tanya in New Zealand, Kit, Kit Kat and uh, Holly Watson. But this one is for Amanda Stevens in the UK. Okay. All right. So, Amanda, just looking at the energy of the card, so I will not. And you're a very earthy energy. There's an earthy energy here. You've got earth magic. Though you're not using our earth to the best of your abilities. So really get out, get grounded a little bit more. Um, put pop your feet on, on earth as much as you can. Um, it's, got, it's also about different types of relationships in your life. Um, there's stuff here that, you know, the earth magic card is about, you know, gathering your life force, your energy, making sure that you are really intact with the energy of who you are and not really sucking everyone else's energy as in listening to everyone else's stuff. Because sometimes it feels like you really get on an even keel and then all of a sudden there's a change. There's a change of, it's like a wind change. You feel something different um, and you buy it as your own and you, and, you, and you could, I'm not saying you make it up, but you buy the life, something that you've heard of others that you've made it your own. So remember to always return everything to sender with consciousness attached. That's a really strong point that I make to everyone because we pick up yeah. everything and you're really extra sensitive. So they're saying, get out into the earth and make sure that, you know, that you're trust the seeds that you have planted for yourself and they're your seeds and you water them and grow them and be with nature for you because helping everyone else is taking you off track. So lots of, you know, a really great road ahead, a big change coming in for you, which is really positive, but it's the things that you've asked for that you've not been attending to, if that yeah. makes sense. All right. How fantastic. And ladies, what we'd like you to do, if you like what you're seeing and hearing and feeling, okay, if you really resonate with uh, Margie and I, come into Soul Seekers. The link is um, in the post and we'll uh, both come in uh, uh, a little bit later and pop the link in there again because Soul Seekers, uh, you're going to get so much more of this. And uh, I mean, Margie's uh, readings, Margie, you don't like to call yourself psychic and clairvoyant and all the other shit uh, uh, titles and labels, but honestly, you're amazing. And uh, you. Nikki just said, um, Nikki just went, wow, absolutely spot on. Um, oh, thanks, she, Nikki. Yeah, yay. Oh, so I'll do a little mantra for Nikki while we then, uh, we're going to pull a card for, let's do Karina. Let's do the lovely Karina while I'm okay. getting a, you pull a card for, um, now this was Ooh. for Amanda, oh. wasn't it? Yeah. Uh, Amanda. Ooh. These just all fell out. Oh, awesome. All right, Amanda, okay. one, two, three. And you know what? The A in numerology, Amanda, is uh, number one. So uh, number one is uh, assertive. Number one walks to the beat of her own drum. Number one can do anything she sets her mind to doing. So uh, here we go. Oh, actually, I've got the same card as I've got before, which was uh, I love being alive. So, oh, what about this one? So you can take that into your week as well, Amanda, as well as this one. My purpose is to be of service to love. I am giving. And honestly, I do find and feel that, Margie, that when it comes to love, honestly, you know, that we can actually be more about what we, how it makes us feel and what we're getting out of it. And uh, more yeah. often than not, you know, when we think about what we can contribute, what we can bring to uh, love, what we have to learn in love, what we are learning, uh, out of yeah. our love situations, it changes everything, and we and, and we drop into a new level of intimacy with that person and within ourselves. Yeah, well, that's so the thing. Karina, Karina, Karina. Yeah, Karina. Yes, right. Karina. Beautiful, un all right. Beautiful uncaging was the first card that's come out. So this is like um, stuff that you have had in the past, any guilt, any shame, or anything of how you have had to do things in certain ways with relationship with work with the people in your life 
there's something from the past that's coming up that needs to be uncaged, needs to be unlocked, it needs to be brought out. Um, you know, and it's not about, you know, confrontation or anything like that, but it's coming out in the next coming weeks. And it's going to be subtle, but you're going to be aware of it. So it's not going to sort of hit you in the face. You, I think you're already, I'm pretty sure you're already aware of it, is what I'm sensing. So it's like, no, you know, the guilt or anything that you're holding on to, you know, it's not necessarily yours. It's just the upbringing and the implant that you've actually had within you. So that's something that's subtly it's going to show up in the next coming week. So it's, you know, and it is subtle. So you're going to be aware of it. Uh, so, and again, you know how to unpack that. Um, I find that um, they're giving me that, make sure you write it out, make sure you must be doing some writing or you've been doing some kind of writing or something personal writing, or if you're writing for something in the future, it's about, you know, really unpacking that and uncaging that. Now, the another thing is, is great big love has also come out. So you are full of love. You are, you ooze love. You love everybody. Mm. So and then the next also coming weeks, this is time to also really bring that more within yourself. Look, I know you, Karina, I know that you do Pilates and all that, but this is a different type of, this is a different type of energy for the love that's coming up here. It's there's just something that's just got, you've got to be push, push aside everything else and pull back with inside of yourself and see that energy for yourself sit in it be in it is what i'm getting because then what happens is the merry motives come out and that's about alchemy that's about cooking stuff up that's about you know um, bringing new things and creations out into the world um so but though it's like they're saying step by step this this little this thing here has to be unpacked which it will come out you know in mm. Too. and yeah the great big love is about sitting and being in that and then that you know that alchemist part of yourself will start to flow excellent and karina to uh, take into her week my higher self is my guide i am unified within awesome amazing so uh, i reckon we go to Yvonne from norway let's do some of our beautiful uh, overseas okay guests. uh but amanda before said perfect thank you i'm an empath and very sensitive great news and the big changes as starting okay. up my own business which will be a cat rescue wow oh, and uh karina yes i agree have to bring it in to uh, to create Excellent. Yeah. Yay. Right. Thanks for the feedback. Okay, Goal who are we doing from Norway? Truth speakers. So this Yvonne. will be for um, Yvonne. Beautiful Yvonne, Yvonne is from Norway. We've had Norway, Hello. Cape Town, the UK and New Zealand uh, in uh, the, uh, on the show tonight, which is wonderful. Thank you, everybody. What a beautiful like, bunch of ladies. Love is in the air. Everywhere. <laughs> Look around. Okay. I've gotten here. Let it go. <laughs> Let it go. Let it go. Okay. Let it go. So, Yvonne, this is not so much just um, your stuff. This is other people's things. Relate. I, I don't know. I, I don't know if there's a daughter. I don't know if there's a daughter. I don't know if there's a girlfriend. There's a girl. Feels like a daughter figure. And it's like there's been mm. so much has been going on and it's been put on a bit of a heavy burden. Um, and look, it could have been last year, but there's still some residue and some debris that's hanging around. So it's not yours. You've, and I know maybe a, a close relative or a daughter or someone that's really like linked to you and it's not easy. I know my words may not sound like ease, though it's about a practice that everything in that future there, whatever has happened, is going to turn out the way that it has to happen. That person's going to be safe either way. So with you, you have to let this go. If it's your own internal struggles with your own life in, um, in ways that you, you pick on yourself or you should be doing better or things aren't going the way that they are, let it be because there is definitely some changes because the opening mm. of Discover card fell out. So there's lots of things for you to go and discover, lots of things for you to research and also journaling's come up. So I don't know if you're a writer or I don't know if you're going to write, but it's about discovering that part of yourself because as soon as you do, and this might help, writing or whatever it is that you do or you want to do or you could do will actually allow this to to you can let it go you can it will actually help you uh it become different uh, and become lighter within yourself i'm not sure if there's also something going i don't know there's a leg thing something going on with someone's leg <laughs> I don't know i have to say it <laughs> but there's a leg it's like the left leg and um you know it's 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 about just moving your body and getting exercise. So if that's not for you, mm. it's for that person that you know. It's about getting exercise and stop staying stagnant. Sometimes the legs need to move. It's a sign of something moving forward and something different coming up as well. Wonderful. 
And you can take this into uh, your week, Yvonne. That was for, was that for Yvonne? Norway. Yeah, yes. Yvonne in Norway, okay. yeah. Beautiful. I heal myself through the power of believing. Beautiful. I am healed. I am healed. Of the power of believing, I am healed. And then your mantra is, I am healed. Now, let's have a look at... Um, so we've got uh, eight minutes left, 10 minutes left. We, got, we came on about two past, two past six there. So if you're still in uh, this session, I've got Holly, I've got Kit Kat, I've got Tanya Dixon, New Zealand, I've got Sunny. I've also got uh, Polly Molly and uh, Connie. So uh, which, one, which ones of you are still in the space because uh, you will be the ones that we read for in the next 10 minutes. And if you're not uh, in the space, then we'll pick somebody else. So let's have, uh, yeah, so look, it's Valentine's Day. Margie, do you have anything special planned? No. Ah, uh, beautiful. Uh, okay, no. I'm still here. Yeah, okay, no, beautiful. I've, um, I've, just, um, I've just had a very lazy day. As we go back into remote Yay. learning tomorrow with the children, I've just done a lot of chilling. Chilling, chilling out, baby. Yeah, yeah, All right, yeah. well, thank you, ladies. Look at this. We've still got Holly, still got Connie, still got Tanya. Let's pick a card for Tanya. Okay, T Tanya. Holly's still here. I better catch that. Molly, Polly, Molly's still here too. Let me catch that. Okay, the oh. Royal Dew, Tanya. This is a beautiful card. Okay, so this is a really big reminder to remember who you are to like who you are and whatever has occurred around you that may have brought some heaviness uh, and or or someone else's heaviness is to remind you that that royal you is that things are about to change so you have to make a choice is what's coming up right now so you can choose to stay where you are right now mm -hmm. though um it's really important to it's, I don't, it's like I see some kind of contract. So, you know, it's really important to know that if something is coming up for you, it's about choosing. It's really, that's the strongest energy I'm getting here is that this here is whatever you are choosing, it will, you're going to have some roads. You're going to have some stuff that's going to be ick. Though you've got a really great support system, use them to support you because you're always there to support others because you will end up coming out and brighter and and really work with that color gold as well so you know it's it really oh, is that my can't read that so i am anyway. the light i am the light which is my truth yeah. therefore becomes there my go. way i am yeah. truth that's your mantra to take into uh, the week yeah there. So, so that is something that is really important is and you know what you have to do and it's mm. going to be okay because you're not alone that's something that's come that comes excellent. out excellent excellent now we're going to move a little bit more quickly ladies what we want you to do is oh, you sorry. can get a whole lot to, you're, no that's Talking fine too much <laughs> yeah no you're great we can do uh, a lot more of this in soul seekers with you okay so we want you to click on the link come and join soul seekers uh, we'd love you to share this live. Come and join Soul Seekers. And for all those that do, we might even pick one or two and give you a complimentary uh, reading. But we're in Soul Seekers. Every Wednesday we're doing this live in Soul Seekers. So uh, if you miss out here, come and, come and find us in there. Come and join the group. We'll pick one or two of you for a very, very quick uh, uh, complimentary uh, numerology slash uh, clearing uh, and, and reading. So let's go quickly now through, uh, for these ladies, we'll do uh, a couple of minutes. And then for some of you, we might just do a, a sentence just to give you a little bit of love guidance for the day. So let's pull a card for Kit Kat. Kit Kat. I love that name. I know, Kit Kat. Kit Kat. Kit Kat. Kit Kat, right. Broken open, beautiful card. It's like you have been down so many times mm. and you picked yourself up. So this time it's like you're coming up and you're rising and whatever has occurred, oh, I just get lots of heaviness, um, lots of heaviness. And it's, it's, it, and I see two people, so I'm not sure if that's, you know, if there's more, but there's definitely two there that I feel like you've just, you're done. You've just been busted open. So what this has brought in with you is a newness and a change. And it's something that actually will give you a strength to, I don't know, it's like packing up and moving on. Mm -hmm. That could be physically, that could be energetically. So it's something that it's really important to know that, that, that you're rising. Meditation is a really good thing as well. Not sure if you meditate. 
If not, do that meditation. Lots of deep breaths. So when your mind starts chattering, <laughs> shush it by breathing. Okay. Awesome. And, all right. That's it. Rebirth. Okay. Sorry, rebirth. Sorry. A new spring is dawning. A refreshing beginning. And uh, and for Kit Kat, I am reborn. Okay. So we're going to pull another card now for Polly Molly. We've got Kit Kat and Polly Molly. Polly Molly. We just did Kit Kat, didn't we? Yeah. Yeah, you've done Kit Kat. We've still yeah. got two more. So just a couple of minutes, okay. Polly Molly. Okay. In perfect harmony, number 11 as well. Oh, I love so 11. Everything that you're choosing right now is going to, it's going to harmonise with your body. Mm. It will actually harmonise. Don't and go if with it your does, head. you'll bring that to fruition too. Exactly right. So don't go with your head. If your body's excited, it brings you joy, you go for it. Creative energy is flowing all around the world. Use it wisely as it moves through you. Your mantra for the week, I am creativity, Polly Molly. So let's pull one for Holly Watson. Hi, Holly. He was still in our group. Thank you so much for listening, uh, ladies tuning in. What we would love for you to do is come and join our group. It's a space for truth uh, seekers, truth telling, truth speaking, finding your truth. We have many, many ways uh, in which we help you to do that in our group. We also offer uh, an elite subscribed uh, membership and uh, you can learn more about that uh, by clicking on the link in the post. But come and join the group. You'll see us, uh, you'll get live readings uh, uh, every week in Soul Seekers amongst many other uh, gorgeous uh, sweeteners. And, um, and for those that join tonight, we'll put you in the draw. Might pick one or two of you for a little bit uh, extra. Okay, Polly. Is that who I'm this doing? This is Polly? for Holly. Holly. <laughs> Polly, sorry, and now it's Polly, Holly. Holly. I'm sorry. Okay, roots of abundance. So this is just says it says it itself. There's so much actualization. You actually everything you touch can actually turn to gold. So you just don't believe it, or you procrastinate a fair bit. So those projects and those creativities and the things that you makes you happy and brings you joy and that you love to do, it's time to bring those out because what Beautiful. happens is, is that abundance happens. And that's not just be our creativity as well. It's also about your relationship, all right? It's just time to relax, um, stop being so uptight and do things that will make you relax. So, you know, get outdoors if you can, but you have, this is a really magical car. Sorry, that's all I can squeeze you. That's awesome. And of course, uh, your mantra for the week, I'm happy, joyful and grateful. And honestly, when you sit in the energy of gratitude and joyful and, uh, yeah. um, and grateful, then what you get is a feeling of being full. And when you are full, you are full filled. And that yeah. absolutely is the energy to be in to uh, manifest that uh, abundance, Holly. So yeah. uh, Connie, let's pull a card for beautiful Connie. Connie, Connie. I, have to book in, I have to book in to get my hair done. <laughs> I message you. <laughs> oh, love it. Here we are. God, yeah. love it. Personal time. <laughs> uh, okay. Connie. All right, here we go. Okay. Close encounters. Anything or anyone in the next coming week or so that's going to rub you up the wrong way, take a breath. Everything's the opposite of what it appears to be. Nothing's the opposite of what it appears to be. And return to sender with consciousness attached. I can say that to Connie because she exactly knows what I'm talking about. So um, this person I feel like is a female and it's a, a female and also there's a male. So there's two. So it's okay to say what you've got to say. Say it. Don't hang on to it. It's something that words that have got to come out. Take a breath. It'll come out different. All right. So that's. That's for Connie. And what have I got? <clears throat> Connie, the, in the innocent uh, spirit finds the way. Yes. I am innocent. Yeah. If you take it back yes. to that blank slate. Yes. And you are, possible. though, it's like you're just <clears throat> not speaking up the way that you, that you could be. And, you know, I know you do. I know you, you know what I'm saying, so don't argue. You know what I'm saying? Oh, you know what I'm okay. saying? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I know what you're saying. 
Well, hey, so look at this. How wonderful. I'm going to copy some of these beautiful like, comments. Ladies, come and join us in Soul Seekers. We're in Soul Seekers uh, every Wednesday live at uh, 9.30, so you can get more of this if you like this, resonate with this. Uh, beautiful Kit, uh, oh, Cat Cat. I said Kit Cat. It was Cat Cat. Oh. Uh, Cat said, uh, wow, wow, wow. Spot on, ladies. So very grateful. Holly said, yes, perfect. Thank you. Um, Connie said, love you both. Thank you. So we've had some beautiful comments. Margie oh, is, uh, Margie is, is, uh, absolutely amazing. And, uh, all of these uh, fabulous things that you do, Margie, thank but you, your, uh, your ability to, uh, you know, see it and feel it and, 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 and yeah, um, all of say it. it back is, is just amazing. Oh, thank um, you. Yeah. So ladies, this has been awesome. And, uh, thank you for joining us and we will see you all in soul. Thanks speakers, for having me. Truth speakers. Come over. Thank do, you. Do, 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 do. We're going to, uh, if you can think of uh, a little <laughs> bit of a, what, what is it, Marky? We, 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 we're dying for a song, ladies. So give yeah, us some dying. ideas about a, a song, a okay? Bit of a jingle. Give us a bit of a jingle. <laughs> <laughs> See, See you, ladies. Ya. Bye. Bye. <laughs>